हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक गाइज ऑन द डैप वर्ल्ड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कम्प्लीट रोड मैप टू बिकम अ सोलाना मास्टर दिस कोर्स इज अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड टू अ डेवलपर एट एनी लेवल टू गेट एक्वाइंटेड विथ सोलाना एप्लीकेशन स्ट्रक्चर एंड इट्स वर्किंग मॉडल इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी एन इथेरियम डेवलपर देन बिकमिंग सोलाना डेवलपर विल बी ईजी फॉर यू इफ यू आर एंड यू कैन स्टिल फॉलो द स्टेप्स एंड वी विल मेक यू सोलाना डेवलपर एट द एंड ऑफ दिस कोर्स सो वॉट इज सोलाना Solana is an open source project implementing a new high performance permissionless blockchain. It offers very fast transaction speed at lower cost due to its architecture. Anyone can participate and build on Solana as it is a public blockchain. A Sol is the name of Solana's native token. These tokens can be used as transaction fees or gas in terms of Ethereum. to perform the transactions on Solana blockchain and also awarded to the validators for running on-chain programs and validating its output the faction of the soul is called as lampert a lampert has a value of 10 to the power of minus 9 soul they say that the solana architecture describes theoretical upper bound of 710000 transactions per second on a standard gigabyte network of 28.4 million tps on 40 gigabyte furthermore the architecture supports safe concurrent execution of the programs authored in general purpose programming language such as c or rust so let's see what are we going to discuss in this course in this course we will discuss how to build a decentralized application on solana blockchain what are the different ways and tools we need what are the prerequisites to get started with and the interesting part is solana's programming working model the topics discussed in this course are first we will see how to install the required dependencies then setting up local test environment for solana development then developing solana programs with rust and anchor then we will see how to write test for solana programs in javascript then we will deploy solana programs on both local and devnet then we will set up the phantom wallet and we will connect it with the application and after that we will see how to interact with solana program from front end application and at the end we will build a simple storage solana program where anyone can store and retrieve some value in the solana program so what are the prerequisites to take this course some basic understanding of working of blockchain the basic knowledge of javascript and rust and lastly the basics of react js these are some prerequisites you should be familiar with before starting this course and don't worry if you are a complete beginner you can still follow along and complete this course and at the end you can build your own solana app So in the next part we will start installing the necessary dependencies tools or packages in order to get started with Solana development see you in the next tutorial